me and my case, for an example, like I train jiu-jitsu because I love it. I train every single day because that's the only thing I want to do. You know what I mean? But there's a lot of people who they don't actually want to sacrifice. Like they want to make the money, but they don't want to work. The main thing is for you actually to love what you do. Because whenever you love what you do, you would do that work regardless. A lot of people actually get to, to ask me, like, Mama, how can you keep yourself motivated after so many years? And you know, how do you still can wake up and go train? I said, man, I don't even know how to do it differently. You know what I mean? There's not one thing that I want to do other than actually waking up and going do what I do every single day. You know what I mean? So, so that's why, that's what I think that's the best formula of, of, for being successful, is to love what you do. Because along the journey, along, the, along your journey, um, it doesn't matter if you're, you know, if you're a jiu-jitsu practitioner or if you're a businessman, you're gonna have downfalls. You know what I mean? You're gonna have many barriers that you're gonna have to face. And if you're not willing to actually put it in and face it, to fall, stand up and keep on going forward, you might never be successful. That's what we have to do. We have to overcome ourselves every single day. Being a champion is not like a well, one day kind of thing. Being a champion is like you being a champion every single day. And if I'm a champion today, it doesn't mean that you're gonna be a champion tomorrow. You know, I wasn't like a real big talent, especially in the black belt division that came just kicking ass and won everything. The opposite. You know, I lost so many times, you know what I mean? I have to work myself from the bottom up. I had to fall, I had to fall and I had to mistake, I had to do my own mistakes and actually, you know, figure out how I could have done better into going forward. opportunities came, I got to come to America actually with 800 bucks in my pocket. And I mean, for many days I didn't have what to eat, for many days I didn't have where to sleep. My parents would call me from Brazil and say, hey son, how is, how is everything doing? Like, Life is perfect, you don't even know, like, everything's great, I'm leaving Miami, come on. I would hang up the phone, I would cry, because I didn't have nothing. I didn't have friends here, I didn't have like anything. I've thought many times about giving up, you know, whenever I say you have to have the drive and you have to have the heart and you have to have the belief, I'm not saying that you're gonna question yourself because I, I've done it a million times, you know, like when you're like, oh, you close your eyes, like, man, what am I even doing here? You know what I mean? I don't even need to pass through this. I don't need to do this, you know what I mean? But yes, you do, because if you want to achieve success, that's, that's the only road that can take you to success. I chose to be who I am. It wasn't given to me. I chose to be unbeatable. Not unbeatable in a way that I will never lose, but unbeatable in a way that I will never gonna bow down and I'm never gonna give up. As much as I fail, I'm gonna jump on my feet and gonna do it again. You know what I mean? So I chose to be who I am today. I chose to be cyborg. Who do you choose to be?